साइंस वी जनरली इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस वॉट वी डू जनरली वी कैन वी जनरली टेल देम और वी टेक रेफरेंस ऑफ न्यूज पेपर्स और वी गिव द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज हाउ दे आर रूलिंग वट दे आर वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम एट द मैक्सिमम वी कंडक्ट एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्शन so that they can at least get engrossed in certain level of uh, they, they get certain level of engagement in the class apart from the theoretical orientation so in this session i am going to first show you one tool that is google art and culture which we will see and you will see how you can explore it and bring it to your classroom so i'm just sharing my screen so uh, for google art and culture i am simply going to google and writing this google art and culture you can also do it this way or you can also install a app for google art and culture uh, website or uh, app now i am going to see what it shows to me what kind of content is available here so first of all you can see it is written pick a museum category so that means we have a category of museums here which it is uh, seems to be sometimes difficult or maybe impossible to reach out to those pieces you know if you are sitting in india andhra pradesh karnataka pondicherry you might be able to visit delhi once in once or twice my teachers my colleagues sitting in and the man and lakshadeep might also try to visit once to delhi and visit these museums but visiting all the museums in different states of india would be a difficult task for all of you because we are we do visit certain places but it is uh, very difficult to map the complete india also for visiting the museums leave this point here how can we can visit a museum in london or in japan or in any other part of the world where different resources which are useful to all of us which can be brought to classroom for reference uh, for showing to our students relation with the new concepts which we are teaching would be a difficult task so to cover that task google art and culture has brought us the those museums on this websites these are either 360 degree videos or virtual visits to those museums or individual artifact visit of the uh, museum for example if the museum carries different photographs so photographs of those artifacts are kept here so that you as a teacher a child me or a parent can also see these museums and learn through them so here i will uh, since first is that natural history i'll click here we will see how so we have five natural history museums to explore from home now one of the museum we will explore now you can see this is a video playing itself i am not doing anything this is a natural history museum in london with over 8 million specimens of different animals or natural wonders which are existing so now what you can do here this is a, a museum we saw this was moving and we can also move personally into it right now i am simply with the help of mouse i am moving into it i want to see something i am zooming into it from the help of my mouse pad in the phone you don't have to move it with the mouse pad you take the phone like this and you move around and the whole picture will move with you you can learn and you can share these experiences with the students you can give these links if these are related to your topic every detail is mentioned here which can be read now just see this museum right now this video is moving itself this is a 360 degree capture of which museum we will read you can see this this is in japan i think and now 
you can see these arrows right i am just clicking on one of the arrow here this is a national museum of nature and science japan and each uh, floor here is organized into a different theme depending on the content kept there so i am now trying to move i just clicked on this arrow button and i went to a different room so this arrow describe me which direction i want to go if i want to go further here in i can click here and i am moving in that complete museum if you don't want to go through these arrows you can simply drag your mouse and cursor to visit these areas and also you can simply zoom in to see the things in detail now i am going here arrow i've put in i want to see this so now the thing which was visible as a wall now i can see it in detail can you see how i am zooming it so that you can see this and relate to it with your children now i'm going back so that we can come out of natural history and we can get into the proper history so and we can learn from that so we have here categories you can choose as per the categories first i will go into a 360 degree video so that you can see what all is there and how 360 degree video help us learn about something this is queen victoria's room this is a video but i have the liberty to move into it also you yeah, see he is speaking but i am still moving i am i am able to see upside down right left everywhere this is the this is not just a video this is a 360 degree video now this video will move on its own pace but we can still uh, see what is around it how it looks like it will take us inside this uh, house this uh, queen victoria space see now they have started taking us around and again we can take a as he is walking we can also see around it is not a, a linear scale that one video is playing and we have to see that we can go here and there and we can see that part of the house also so now we are inside we can zoom, we can walk with him or we can see the different uh, you can see this carpet you can see the dining table how big the dining table is well we've left you can see the roof here even though he is not showing right now the roof but i can still see i am zooming in the roof also to see the details now here you can tell the history of this place or when we talk about queen victoria in the history class we can take them through this tour this will help them engage with that particular topic that how to imagine a queen so she would often have lunch in this room because it was much easier to keep cool similarly we will uh, see few more things in this this was one type of uh, resource so here you can see it is a space shuttle in vr virtual reality we can get into the space shuttle and we can see how this goes this is a nebula in that also we can enter now we'll go to paris opera we will see right now the video is not available it is seen 
It is available, but it has been kept as private. So now coming to India. Uh, we, we talk about different uh, architectural marvels of rulers of India. Then we can show their masterpieces which was developed during their time. I hope I am audible. Am I audible? Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you. So I am going to visit this is 360 degree India of detailed video. This is uh, not just focusing on one element of India, but the complete Indian uh, cultural uh, detailing. It is showing the geographical things. Is, it, this video is also showing. And you can again see. You can again move here and there. This is the 360 degree video. This is I am moving on my own. You can zoom in. I just zoomed in. Zoom out. See, now we are in Golden Temple. So this way you can show to the children different places. Now we will visit uh, some more uh, places. I am just trying to find out variety. Okay, next is we will go back to explore and now we will see. Now you can see here we have a category called historical events. I can get into those historical events based on your topic, your uh, lesson. You can select the topic. We have this World War One, Cold War. Then different wars are available for us. The different images of those wars is available with us, which can be shown to children. This is Second World War. This is Indian Rebel of 1857. I click on this. Now you see how beautifully it has been done. A detail of Indian Rebel has been given. Then the different images are given. You can simply click on first image and then keep moving and learning about each image. Now, this is a painting, photograph of a painting by Henry Cope, depicting a battle scene during the Indian mutiny. British and Indian cavalry and troops in battle. This is that particular image. Now, here, if I move my cursor, I have next image. Similarly, I have lots of images for depicting this incidents to my children. These are either the photographs or the paintings of those times when this mutiny happened and how this took place, what were the outcomes can be taught using these images. These are all the images of uh, Rebel only. You can see. Now we'll go back and we'll see some more uh, things. Now here we have seen historical events. Now we'll get into historical figures. You can click on any figure and then you can know more about that person. So we are very well aware of Mahatma Gandhi. You can see these are also presented in the form of a story and also as individual images. You just click on this picture and then you will land onto individual images of different uh, acts which, which he did. So now you can see Gandhi family. This is Tara Gandhi. Then this is another image. And a detail has been given explaining this particular image. Whatever is happening in the image has been explained to us. 
So these can be brought to the classroom for learning and for explaining new concepts also. Now I'll also show you one more, uh, I want to show you one more thing. Something called guitar, I saw it. It was very wonderful if you see that kind of thing. Okay, now we go to experiments. These were uh, the videos and the images which are kept. We can visit the museum, walking steps into the museum. And now these are the kind of games which we can play and learn through them also. So I'll play one, uh, this Viola the bird. You will see how nicely it has been created. This is a musical instrument created, uh, which is experiment. And now you can see that I'm going to play this voila. It is telling me everything. Change direction when a note arrives at this line. It is telling me how to play it, basically. liberty also to record your performance. If you think that can help you, you can record also this performance of yours and keep it for your later thing. So basically, we are trying to bring resources along the engagement of students through games because we know that these games help children engage well with their studies. So that's with that element, this has been created. Similar more games are also there which you can use for showing it to your children. Now we are going to see a few more things and then we move to the next uh, next tool. Now these are the paintings and images. We study poetry in languages. So for uh, explaining that poetry, one image can be created. In CIT also, if you visit CIT, you will find out a lot of uh, paintings have been put up on walls. These are created by different teachers and artists. Keeping in mind the poems which are covered in the NCRT's textbooks. So similarly, these poems, uh, these art forms are created out of either a novel or a story. So when we are going to talk about them, then we can definitely learn through these uh, drawings. Now you can see one museum in Delhi. So here you can see Wonders of India. It is showing uh, different monuments and uh, things. And here we have National Museum, Photo Festival, Nehru Memorial Museum. So I'll visit one museum with you here. See how detailing is available. If I keep zooming, I have got all the detailing. This is so high resolution that you can see everything in this. And then we have the context detail of this we we will see it in street view now we are inside the museum try to see how we have came into the museum now i can see every image here every painting and i can move into different rooms also i'm coming out of this gallery See, all the artifacts are kept here. If you keep them, if you have good connection, it will properly display whatever is kept here. 
if you are not able to maybe read these things, then they have also given individual images of these galleries so that you can use them as reference for learning and teaching to your students. Now we'll move ahead in this. So this was the, for this painting, in which room this is kept, we have seen the uh, street view of that particular room. We can similarly see different exhibits here and we can learn through them. Now I'll click maybe here. You can see all these, these are the earrings which are kept. These all can be shown to your students and the details can also be shared with them. We have different, the whole collection is available here. Whichever, whatever thing is available in the music has been kept here in the form of video, image or the virtual visit. So whichever you pre prefer, you can take that route and learn through these images. So till here, if you have any questions, you can ask or otherwise I will move on to the next tool. If you have any questions related to this tool or how to access this tool, you can ask. Otherwise, I will move on to the next tool. So can you use this tool in your classroom? Do you think it will be useful for you? Yes, ma'am. It's very useful. So now, uh, next tool is further very interesting. And I think you will really like it. You will appreciate that too. And that is timeline. You can create timeline in political science and social science for teaching children or assessing children. Say, for example, you have taught them about the Mughal rulers. So you can ask them to prepare a timeline. Or you can also ask them to prepare a mind map for assessing them on the understanding about the Mughal rulers. How they came, who was the first ruler, who was the second ruler, what were their specifications, what was their uh, characteristics, what did they do, each ruler, what did they do, and how they finally came to downfall. So all this you can create as a timeline. You can ask your children to create a timeline or they can create a mind map. Timeline you can create in PowerPoint presentation also, Google Sheets, uh, Google Sheets also, uh, sorry, Google presentation also, and also in Canva. You have the feature in Canva to create presentation. But as a teacher, if you want to create a uh, timeline, to fall into timeline creation tools which can be helpful to you. So this is one tool, Precedent, which helps you to create timeline. You can just create your account here and you can create a timeline manually. Manually, basically, if you click on manually, you are going to give all the details. You have to say, for example, I've chosen this, give your uh, timeline a title and create. Once you click on create, then it will ask you for events. You keep adding the event. You can see add event here. Add event here. And then once I click on add event, you can give that event name, the start date, end date, any notes you want to keep with that event any image you want to upload with the uh, event and the color or shapes you want to designate to particular event, you can do that and simply click on add event. In this way, you can create your own timeline or it also provides you with one important feature, one beautiful feature, create with AI. But create with AI means 
computer will create it for you you will give the topic but the topic should be such that the computer can also understand it in same terms and also whatever it creates you have to verify that content whether it is right or wrong so i say create with ai now you please see focus here once you can type type your topic here okay so for example uh, which topic you want to create a timeline maybe uh, uh east india East India company in India. I am saying to create it, so it might show. I am I am looking at when East India company came in India, from where it started, uh, its uh, initial business, and then how it expanded. So let's see what it gives me. I said generate with AI. Now it will analyze my topic. It will start collecting data from internet, whatever data is available to it. So these AI tools doesn't have data till date. Chat GPT you have heard of it has data only till two thousand some year, so it cannot access all the data which is available right now. So it will give me some uh, data and then I have to, as a teacher, cross refer check the data and then only I can take this timeline to the classroom. So it will take uh, five minutes, but if you want to create manually and if you take the help of AI, it can only reduce the time. But you have to put in your effort of verifying the facts and editing it if required. You can use this tools free uh, freemium version. Don't go for the paid version because paid version may give you certain benefits. But the freemium also provides you a limit of uh, work which can definitely be helpful to you. So if you focus here, when it is creating, it is telling us that you can edit every aspect of the timeline, including the color. Now let's see what has come up. The timeline is ready with us. So let's see. Establishment and early years. Here it has been given because it started with the Royal Charter that now they can do business with the East. So... This is that and then the Battle of Plassey was an important event in the, uh, when we even uh, study history of class 8th and 7th, we have this Battle of Plassey. So you can refer from here, then the Battle of Buxar, policies and governances, everything has come up here. You can read about it, you can edit it. You can add more incidents. You can see how beautifully they have added the photographs also. And then decline and dissolution. The Sepoy Rebellion and then the decline of it started in the... Which year you can see that. The formation of Indian National Congress. This way it has covered everything for you. With every date, you can check it, you can improve it and bring it to the classroom. Now, how to bring it to your classroom? You can ask that. A, the first thing I would request is always use timeline in that application. Because timeline is an active, interactive resource. You can click and show. It is not an image. Don't make it an image and make it a passive resource. You can create an image or PDF also from this, but then that will become a passive resource and it will also be very small in size. If you want to export and share, you can export as PDF image. 
or you can copy the link and show it directly through this website that will be more convenient to you. If you want to add this timeline to your PPT, you can either add the link so that when you click on the link, you land here or you can make a image of it and bring it into your presentation. This way you can use these timelines for your teaching and learning. Is it okay now? Any questions on timeline? No. So now next tool is very uh, important as well as very simple to use. It is also kind of ready-made tool. Here we are creating content that uh, the other tool gives us the uh, flexibility of using already created content or it also allows us to create our own content. And this is more of an assessment tool. This is called quizzes. Q-U-I-Z and then I double Z. Once you click on it, you can see the main page. You have to log in. I hope all of you have your Gmail account. If you have your Google account, Gmail account, then using that account, you can uh, log in here on quizzes also and also on precedent for creating timelines. So I'm already logged in. Here you can see I've got my library. That means the uh, quizzes assessments I have created. Explore means the library already owns some collection. So I'll first show you my library. So these are the questions which I have created. You can see these are on different tools because we generally, uh, we are training teachers on different tools. So we have created these uh, on different tools. Now I'll say explore. That means I want to see what library offers to be. So I am in social sciences. I click on this. You can click on history, geography, or you can type your own keyword. So I'll say history. You want how many? questions you can uh, give that also but let it be as many questions comes you can use them in your own quiz now you can see there is a, a quiz on Indian history or history of architecture Indian history is here you can see uh, as a teacher when you log in you can see the correct answer also and wrong answer also Now, if you want to start the quiz right away, you can start a live quiz. If you want to assign it as a homework, you can do it as a homework. If you think no device is ready, you can do it on paper also. So it gives you all the options. Now, this quiz is created by quizzes or some teacher, which we don't know. So for that, I can copy and edit this quiz for myself. And I can remove certain questions and add new questions to it. For example, I'll show you. I said copy and edit. Now it has created a duplicate copy of the quiz. Now I want to either edit the question, duplicate this question or remove this question. Say for example, I say remove. So it will say delete. The question has been deleted. So similarly, you can Create a new question. You can see this option, create new question. These are the question types you can create. MCQ, fill in the blanks, draw, open-ended, poll and slide. These with the electric mark are the premium version. If you want to go for the premium, you can try, but the premium is enough for us. So for example, I say multiple choice question. You have to type your question here. You have to type your answer here and then tell the correct answer. If you have a single correct answer or multiple correct answer, you can choose the option and save the question from here. You want to give how much time to each question that also you can select from here. How many points for each question you can select from here. 
and then you can create your own question for the uh, quiz. Now I'll show you uh, how to run the quiz because that is also very important. So to start a live quiz, I'll simply click on start a live quiz classic or instructor page means the time duration I will uh, uh, manage myself that I will allow a question for how much time. Classic means whatever time has been assigned that will be played. So I say continue. Just see how you can use it in the classroom. Now you can see if you are giving this quiz to the children, then they have to join this quiz using this link. You can try joining this quiz, joinmyquiz.com and then enter this code. Just try from your device that how it works. I hope some of you are trying. You can on the tab, on the new tab, you can simply write joinmyquiz.com and enter this code 089207. Are you joining or shall I skip this step? giving you two minutes if you are joining, then I can show you that how it will appear on the student screen. You can see the instructor screen from the meeting and you can see the student screen on your device. If you think this is difficult, then you can also join via QR code. You can scan on this code and you can join through this code also. Are you joining anyone? Yes, one person has joined. So now we can uh, start the quiz. Now you can see. I can start the quiz. Some uh, uh, Ramesh sir has joined already. If anyone else is joining, they can also keep joining and they can keep answering the questions. Now we have two participants who have joined the quiz. I'm just waiting, uh, giving time to Sasikla ma'am because she's also trying to join. Okay, so now I'm starting the quiz. Now you can see what is appearing on my screen and what is appearing on your screen. This is the leaderboard I am receiving and these are the questions. So you will be seeing questions on your screen and I will be seeing your scores that how many questions have you attempted and uh, Ramesh sir has attempted one question. Yes. 
Now, since you are seeing this, I am going to close the quiz because we are not uh, playing the quiz completely. We are just trying to learn how this works. So, Ramesh sir is the first here out of. Ma'am, you could not join. Sasi Kalam, I am not able to join in, ma'am. No problem. You can try uh, on your own once to join this. Okay. So now I want to show you is this that I have all the data of my students, how they performed. Now you can see accuracy, completion rate, how many students. Now you can also see the question wise detail. For every child, how, what kind of accuracy, what kind of scores they had. If you want to show, see it question wise, you can see it question wise that in this question we have all the incorrect answers. If you want to see it overview, you can see the overview of the participants also that out of this marks, how many marks they have got. So this all will come to you if you use this kind of tool and this will help you to analyze the success rate of learning of students. Now, this is one case where we have uh, uh, administered the quiz in the classroom and if you want to assign it as a uh, homework, then how you do it, I will show you that also. Again, I'm using the same quiz. Now here you can see assign homework. I click on this, you can start time, you can just add a start time for your activity and deadline. At what time the quiz will close, you have to add that and then assign. Or if you have Google Classroom or any other LMS, you can add that here also. Assign when you say, Then you receive the same thing. Either the link, you can give this link to children or you can give this code to children to join. And via this link, they will join during that duration when they are at home and they will conduct this quiz and you will be able to receive all the answers. Okay, let's move forward or you have any questions here? No. So now this we have seen, now you know how to create here. There is a simply create button on the left, uh, left side panel. Simply go and create what you want to create, a quiz or a lesson. Basically, you can create a lesson also. Go to the uh, quiz. You want to create it from scratch or you have certain questions. You want to upload a document. Anything, it will give you options and then you can create from scratch. For example, I come here. Now you have, you can, uh, the type of question you can start with. So for example, I started with fill in the blanks. I will simply insert those questions the way I told you for MCQ. And then I will give a name to my quiz, a title to my quiz. And I'll assign marks to each question and then my quiz is ready to use. This is how you can create your quiz in this platform and use it. Now we will be moving to the next tool. Do you use Google Maps in your classroom? Google Maps also provides a lot of options for uh, social sciences. Similar to Google Maps, we have an open source tool which is called Marble. It provides us with historical map also. So if you want that kind of map, then you can use this tool. I will uh, simply demonstrate that tool to you.
Marvel is a tool which is uh, you can uh, download it, install it on your computer, and you can bring it to the classroom. Now you can see here that I've got this interface. I've got this historical map already opened. You can see I want a map view or I want a different view for my teaching. I need a flat view. I can use a flat view. I need earth or moon. I can choose a moon also. I will write right now stick to earth. And then I have open street map. I have different forms of maps, a political map. If you want to show different countries, you want to familiarize students with different countries on the map, on the globe, you can do it both ways. This is a flat map. You can put it to a, a globe view also. You can see this now. Whatever you want to show, you can use the reference map and you can start showing it. So as I show is shown in the beginning, it also shows a uh, historical map. Now you can see here, you can uh, zoom in. This is the, uh, we have the whole device with us. You start zooming in and you will reach out to those places. If you want to move it, you can move it. See, everything is moving along with the globe. Even the sky is moving. So you can show all those aspects. And if you want to record a video of this globe, for example, you have zoomed in slightly. You can zoom in through this uh, mechanism or you can also zoom in through your mouse. I'm zooming in through my, mou my mouse right now. So if I want to record it, I can just move it. And I have got a feature here, record movie. In the edit button, you go and you have the feature of record movie. Once you record it, you can export this as an MP4 and then you can bring it to your classroom as a resource. If you don't want to take this whole software, you can use this feature of uh, the uh, marble for bringing this to your classroom. If, for example, this doesn't work, I'm trying. And if it doesn't work, then you can simply start the screen recording and do it for yourself. I say start. Destination you have to provide. I have not right now given uh, the permissions to do this tool. So I am not recording, but you can also do it through the screen capturing softwares which are available like Camtasia, Screen Recorder. All of them you can utilize for recording the uh, this tool. And then I say quit. Now we are moving on to the last tool, which I'm going to just show you. You can explore on your own. How much time we have left, uh, we are left with, uh, Mr. Alok? So now we have one more tool, which I'll just demonstrate you for uh, two, three minutes. This is called word wall. So once I click on Google word wall, I have this uh, word wall uh, platform with me. Again, you need to log in here with your Gmail account and then you are ready to use it. So here you can create a lot of templates are available. You can create a matchup. You can create a quiz. You can also create random cards, matching pairs, different variety of interactive assessments and games you can create depending on your subject. So for example, for history, political science, geography, we have maps and maps are an important component of us. So here you can create label diagrams for physical features, for political, uh, maybe states and uh, UTs and curse uh, capital of the states, you can start doing it. So this one is ready. You can also create on your own. Now here we have to mark all this and this can be a learning experience for the 
student. See, I have started marking and now Himalayas. And I am ready. I think something is left. Now you can see it is checking and giving me marks that I have done it rightly. So this way you can also create your maps for labeling different things. Maybe which government, uh, which party won in that particular state. You can uh, do that kind of activity here. You can create your own activity and run through in the classroom. And similarly, the other activities also you can explore. See, we have another map also here. So these are the political map and we can start marking different things here. We have the timer also that how much time a child took to conduct certain activity. So, so you can use these tools in your classrooms or you can these tools to ask your children to create activities on these tools and see whether they have learned the topic properly or not. I hope uh, the resources which have, we have discussed would be useful to you. Now we can take up a few questions from you because we are, I think, towards the end of this session. So I'll give five minutes to you for your questions. I could see one question in the chat box. Can we edit the videos or any information? So this was regarding which uh, thing? Uh, Vadival, sir, you asked for which area this question? In the beginning, madam. In the beginning, for the Google uh, Art and Culture. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, madam. No, the, no. Yes. We are going to the Google Art and Culture the, the site, madam. Okay. So, if you want to, to scroll it down and we want some information, shall we edit anything there? You cannot edit there because that has been provided by the expert, that has been done by the experts. So, this is not a Wikipedia that you can go and edit that information because Wikipedia offers us that solution. But this doesn't offer us this because this is a very technically done platform and they don't allow users to give their inputs. You might give your comments somewhere if you see an option on the certain information, whether it is wrong or if you want to improve it. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Any other question regarding any tool we, which we have discussed or anything? Why this group is so silent? I am amazed. Ma'am, I am actually business studies. But I just really enjoy this history. You are from? Business studies. I'm oh, okay. But uh, you can use these many tools in your thing also. Because quizzes... Word wall and a few more tools can be useful directly to your timeline. Also, in business studies, you can use it. So, <laughs> so there are many tools which are common to all these subjects. We are just trying to help you. Sorry, I'm moving out most of my classes for the interaction. I, I didn't hear you, sir. Can you come again? Kahoot, Kahoot, madam. Okay, Kahoot, okay, yes. Kahoot, sir, Kahoot is good. But why I am not demonstrating Kahoot here is uh, because it offers uh, very less number of questions to us. So, keeping the level of students, the grade of students in mind, if you want to make a longer question first, then quizzes could be helpful. Apart from we have Google Forms also, which we are, which we can use in the Classrooms. As well uh, as Google Classroom is also a very good app, ma'am. Yes, Google Classroom is very good. Google all the tools. I'll request all of you to explore one more tool, which is Padlet. Padlet is for, just, uh, as ma'am said, uh, commerce, business studies. They are 11, 12 students. So they can have a Padlet account, or only you can have a Padlet account and they can write there. 
we just explore padmin that will be useful for the higher classes uh, that tool would be good so now since we are about uh, we have just got the notification that this room will close in half a minute so if you have any question you can ask me right now or this room will get closed i hope these tools would be useful to you and you will be able to take some benefit out of uh, these tools very good tools madam thank you very much thank you sir thank you so we can now leave the breakout room because it is already about to close and we can get into the main room thank you very much everyone for the patient hearing but agar if you would have interacted it would have been a nicer session for me also thank you so much ma'am for the beautiful session Ma'am, hello. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Can you, ma'am? Biology section is not uh, completed, but I am redirected to this side. Please rejoin, please. No problem, sir. Because the breakout rooms are closed now, and that's why all the participants have returned to the main meeting. So okay. don't worry. Majorly, sir, must have covered yeah, all the tools. Attendance is not good, ma'am. Attendance sheet is not good. Pardon, sir. Attendance afternoon attendance. Attendance, yes, we are about to send the link, and we are about to announce the same. So just wait for a few minutes. Okay, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, we. Yes. information about other languages also ma'am okay okay other languages for example hindi kannada telugu like that okay we will convey your message to our uh, head ma'am and in charge and we we'll let you know. know that's why we are asking yeah we'll let you know once i'll discuss with ma'am okay ma'am thank you Thank you. Yeah. 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 So I would like to thank all the resource persons for sharing their valuable information regarding to the subject specific tools and for enlightening all our participants related to their subjects. I hope you all will benefit uh, from the session and uh, you'll try the same in your classroom. Uh, we are sharing the evening attendance link. So kindly fill the uh, evening attendance form. And uh, now we'll take a short break for 15 minutes and we'll meet you all after 15 minutes. Thank you. I request the coordinators